break for the final part of Most Haunted Live from Prague, looking for the evil within. Let's hope we don't find it. Welcome back to Most Haunted Live, our final part of a four-night investigation covering 16 hours of a paranormal vigil and investigations that have yielded some amazing results and some fascinating evidence. For more of that, here's our academic and historian, Leslie Smith. First of all, Leslie, you've got an interesting theory about what went on with the team when they were looking in that scrying glass, that yes. kind of non-reflective mirror. Was that something John Dee used to use? He used a black glass, yeah, or black mirror, as he called it, talking to the angels. But what I'm interested in is the talk about people going down that pit, that hole, coming up, looking ancient. And that seemed to be what they were doing. You know, they were describing seeing themselves looking sunken and old. So I, I quite like that link. Um, well, and can you remind us who John Dee was, Dr yes, John Dee? Yes, Dr John Dee was Elizabeth I's black magician, and he was one of her main advisers, and she lent on him heavily, and he came here to the Czech Republic. We know that for sure. Now, the other night we got the letter... Um, the number eight on the Ouija board, yes. and we've had sets of two sets of four tonight being knocked out. Yes. What's the significance, possibly, of the number eight for this region? Well, that, that sent me running around, but I think I've come to it now, which is that the number eight is very significant in Czech and, in, indeed, in Slovak culture as well, because some of the greatest political events or greatest events, um, particularly in the uh, 20th century, ended in eight. And so we've got uh, the, the Czech Republic being formed in 18, then we've got Munich in 38... Uh, then we've got the uh, communists in 48. And so all this eight business comes on and also a revolution. They try to fight against the communists in, in 68. Um, so it is very interesting that this place, this great fortress on a crag on the edge of the dark forests, you know, in the, in the Czech Republic, seems to be revealing all sorts of information that we can indeed see some logical link at least. This week's really been all about gathering that evidence and then trying to work through it feverishly. Yes. Are you going to take stuff away with you to work on? Yeah, there's still things I need to do. And, I mean, a lot, some of these things are supposition. Uh, a lot of them we've been able to prove absolutely. But there's always that evaporous business about, come on, real evidence from the other side. And we've heard some extraordinary things tonight, some extraordinary things all week. And, of course, the Czech have been fabulous people. It's been terrific. Thank you very much for the moment, Leslie Smith. We're going back to the vigil very soon indeed. First, though, what have you been seeing and sensing? Let's find out from Julian Clegg and his interactive team. Julian. Thank you, Paul, and an extraordinary four nights. Thank you so much for your input. Two and a half thousand sightings this evening. Over half were reports of figures being seen, so that's interesting. Webcam one, the chapel, the busiest tonight. 800 sightings on that one alone. And a significant number of people spotting mists uh, around the team. White mists, so thank you for that. And over the last uh, four nights, we've had 12,000 sightings on the webcam, which is brilliant. General themes tonight, uh, two small children following the team around. The names Jake and Jacob uh, have come through. A lot of orb activity around Matt, uh, uh, white mist surrounding Kath, uh, people sensing a naughty spirit, maybe a childlike spirit earlier on in the show, and lots of tapping noises. On the webcams, the themes tonight, uh, webcam one, chapel over the gateway, most activity reported there, as I said earlier, hooded cloaked figure there, maybe a monk, and uh, strange animal-shaped uh, figures crawling around on the floor as well. On webcam two, the underground room, a female figure, a theme of the night, dressed in white, a male figure in a hat as well, and whispering voices being heard. And webcam three, Three in the attic, uh, a figure in the doorway is one of the theme tonight. Uh, banging noises like a door slamming and lots of orb activity in this room as well. And webcam for the piano room, uh, a child sat playing the piano, one of the main themes of the evening, the man's face being seen at the window and a tall figure walking past the door. I suppose the, the big thing of the last four nights has been the number of you going on to Twitter and Facebook. We've got almost 15,000 of you now on Facebook, 3,000 of you following this now on Twitter and a hello to everyone at the forums at Most Haunted Live. Net. And I want to thank the interactive team, Claire and Sunita in London, John in Prague, interactive stu uh, producer Stuart. Thank you so much, Stuart. You've done great work there. He's been tweeting and taking all your messages. And my Oscar-winning cameraman, Yard, who's been following us around on Interactive. Thank you, Yard. You're a star. He's from Czech Republic. Uh, that's it from Interactive for this time round. Thank you so much. Paul, back to you. Thank you, Julian. So for the last time tonight, let's get back to the scene of tonight's investigation. Somewhere in this massive castle, Castle Huska, is Yvette Fielding and the team. Let's find out what they're doing right now. Yvette. Thanks very much, Paul. We've actually come to the end of our investigation. We're here in the chapel, the place. And what Carl is doing with Kath is they're just finishing off drawing a circle uh, with chalk, a circle that's been mapped out by Dr Kieran O'Keefe by using temperature, you've actually found out, Kieran, haven't you, where the hole 
would have been the, get, the, the gateway to hell, as the locals call it. Exactly. I'm measuring surface temperature, and if there is a hole, the surface temperature above the hole would be colder than the rest of the surface temperature. And I've got a two-degree drop from the rest of the surface to this particular circle. So in so, the middle here, we've got... It's going down to 2.4 degrees, but as outside of the circle, if we move outside, it goes to four and rising... Fantastic. Rising. Thank Cheers. you, Kieran. Okay. Brilliant. Right, Ouija board. Thank I've you. never been, done a Ouija board, over really, over uh, what most people consider to be the gateway Stuart? to hell. Yes, Stuart, Kath, let's go. OK. Ready? Right. Right. Here we go. Right. This is right, the, one hand yeah. on there. Should sort of we just start on the glass, or do you want to just start with a little seance and see what we get? Yeah, I'm you... excited. I'm... Oh, God, let's hope something happens. Okay. Ate man kud vege vira vege dula. Where's Matt? Are you yeah, getting it? Yeah. Jeez. That is, a, that is a... Right. a hum. Okay, I'm going to do it again. Listen out for a hum and singing along with it. Ate mal kud vege bura vege dula le ulam amen. That sounded more like that was coming from between Kieran and, and, yeah, and Matt. Yeah, heard it. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're talking, we're definitely getting uh, uh, along with it. Please come towards us. We are sat here above the demons, above the devil. Are you really here? Are you really here? If you are, sir, then you must have to do something extraordinary because otherwise we will not believe that you are here or you exist. Are you truly here? You say something to annoy it. Okay. If you are truly all powerful, then surely these man made bricks will not stop you coming forward. Surely you can come through this man made structure and let us know of your might if you're there. Or are you scared of us? Are you a coward? Are you scared? Do you know what? There's like a heartbeat on this table. Can you? Yeah, I can hear it. I can hear it. It's weird. Are you all right, Kath? Yeah. What's the matter? I don't like the way it makes me feel. How does it make you feel? No, I don't want... Uh, it feels strange, Sadia. I feel it feels weird. Do you not... Do you not feel the same? I feel very weird, but... And I'm getting a really big headache. Very quickly. Very quickly. Come towards us. What's that? What? Someone was trapped. That was me. That wasn't you, Kira. Did you just go? Huh? No. Huh? No. No, it wasn't that. I just thought you went. Huh? No. I could have sworn you didn't move forward. No. Hello. Come out. Come out. Why am I feeling warm? Make yourself known. Okay, this is where we need somebody like Fred or Leslie to give me some words to say. So I shall wait for them. Or should we do the glass thing? Let's do the glass. <coughs> We've had no vibration of the table. Normally we get some sort of energy, but there's nothing. <coughs> 